my pops. He was a crackhead, you feel me? And uh, when I was hella young, like six, seven years old, one night he came into my room and he woke me up, right? And he put an ashtray on the bed and he lit a cigarette. And he just started telling me these crazy ass stories for the Vietnam War and stuff, right? Half of me, I did not understand. I was only like six, seven years old. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about, right? It was just crazy stuff, right? But then there was this one story he told me. He told me how he was in prison over there. Or how he was like locked up in some place that was real crazy, right? He said this place was like only the strong survive type prison, right? And he said, when you come into that prison, all the elders tell you, they tell you, you're, you're like a baby bird. You're saying, when you come into this prison, you're like a baby bird with no feathers, defenseless, lost, vulnerable as hell. You're saying, you, you're against all odds, and the, and the odds that you make it is very slim, right? But if you happen to be that one rare bird to make it and grow your feathers and build up your strength and flap your wings, you've become an eagle, a bona fide certified eagle. And you fly up out of here, right? And on my dad's chest, he has an eagle tattooed on his chest, and he's sitting there smoking cigarette, telling me a story. And he said, "You see this eagle?" He said, "Every time you see someone with an eagle on them, you better give them the respect because they had to earn that." And I was just like laying there, like, "The hell are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Can I go back to sleep now?" <laughs> are you, you're like, "Bro, you tripping, right?" But then I learned later on, when I got older as an adult, I learned that my dad uh, was basically a POW. Or basically, after the father had gone, he was a he was a soldier in the South Vietnamese Army, and he ended up captured by the North, and he was put in a prison camp for three years where he was tortured. You know what I'm saying? And treated like basically like enemy of the state because he helped go against his own country. He helped the U.S. fight against his own people. You feel what I'm saying? So now he was in the hands of his enemies who looked at him as a traitor, as a buster, you feel me? And so they mistreated him and tortured him and tried to indoctrinate him for, for three years. So now that story makes sense. I get it now. Like, okay, only a few, only a few survive that and make it out. But the ones that do, they get to call themselves the eagle. So are you an eagle? <laughs> Oh, are you a seagull?